Hello guys, so today I will show you that how you can find out the open reading frame from a given sequence. So for those who do not know what is open reading frame or ORF, so open reading frame is a sequence which have one initiation codon and stop codon and this sequence according to definition it should minimum have 60 base pairs and it's a coding sequence means it code for a specific protein. So that sequence which have a coding sequence of more than 60 base pair and also have stop codon and in termination codon. So that portion is known as the open reading frame. So in this video I show that how you can find out that a particular sequence does it contain any open reading frame or not or if it contain then how much open reading frame it contain. So for this just open your browser and search in the Google about that is NCBI open reading frame finder that is open reading frame or you simply short form that is ORF finder whatever you can write you can either complete or short now this NCBI ORF finder just click here now this is the home page this is ncbi.nlm.nih.gov and ORF finder so just click here now this is the home page of this ORF finder tool here this box here you can either enter the accession number of your sequence or the nucleotide sequence which should be in the FASTA format. So just for demo purpose I have downloaded a sequence in the FASTA format. So this is the sequence. So now I will show you that how much you can say ORFs are present in this sequence. So just copy this sequence you may have your own sequence or you for the demo purpose you can also try with sequence download from the NCBI. Now just move back to this window here just right click and paste the sequence. Now this is the range like from which nucleotide to which nucleotide you want to make the operating frame. I am leaving it as such because I want this complete sequence. And now this is the minimum operating length that how much nucleotide should be there in open reading frame like from 30, 75, 150. So just I selected 75. This genetic code it shows that how the codes should be generated these are the standard like which are used standard but there are other also like invertebrate mitochondria is mitochondria mitochondrial mold etc although the genetic code is universal but there are some differences find among some different organisms so just keep it standard so now the standard genetic code will be followed this is the orf start at the codon to use so as we know it should start from the initiation codon which is AUG but here it is the DNA sequence so it should be ATG so now just click the submit button as you click the submit button so now you can see it will take some time depending upon the you can say the sequence length so now the results are just in front of us here you can see that it is showing open reading frame viewer and ORF found are 4 means there are four operating frames in this sequence and these are red color bars. So these represent the open reading frames. So one, two, three and four. So there are four operating frames in this sequence. This is the summary of all these operating frame like this is ORF1 and this is plus strand means five to three dash reading. The frame one means it starts from the first amino acid. So frame one and as you can see it start from one and stop at this the length of this first open reading frame is 441 nucleotides in case of amino acid it is 146 amino acid long here in this table if you selected this first ORF1 so in order to select just click here and click this mark option now this ORF1 is marked as you can as now you can see that the blue bar is just come on the outside boundary of this red bar so it means it is now selected and the information of this first ORF1 is just in this window here this is the protein sequence of this or you can say amino acid sequence of this ORF1 you can change it in case of protein it contain 146 amino acid but if you want to see the nucleotide sequence so here display ORF so click here display ORF as 
as you click here so there are option that in which form do you want to see this orf1 so you want to display it as protein sequence so which is already there it is showing in the protein form here the nucleotide sequence as you click here so now this orf1 is displayed in the form of this nucleotide sequence now you can see that the sequence has been changed it is in the form of nucleotide like atgg and so on you can also change it to another form that is cds means coding translation region so as you click cds translation now the again sequence is changed and now you can see that it is showing both the nucleotide and the amino acid sequence and it is showing that this atg will code for the methionine amino acid similarly the next codone that is gtg will code for the valine so in this way now it is showing both the nucleotide sequence and as well as the amino acid coded from that nucleotide sequence so by clicking here you can change the output version of this sequence like protein it will show the protein sequence nucleotide nucleotide and cds which is in front of you so i am again clicking on the protein sequence here the another option is that you can also perform the blast of this first orf because it is selected so you can if you click here in the blast option so it will automatically perform the blast similarity searching of this first orf that is open reading frame now if you want to move to second or you want to also select this second orf so just click it and again click here mark so it is now also mark so it will now show the op, uh, details of these both that is orf first and second if you want to uncheck so again click here and now click here unmark so as you click unmark so now this first orf is deselected now only second orf is selected so in this way you can select either of the this orf frame and you can get its information in this left side window you can also perform the blast of this sequence directly from here by clicking the blast button and you can also download the data as the option is the download mark set so you can also download the data of this orf2 by clicking this button and you can also change the format it means which format you want either you want the coding faster this protein faster so whatever you choose so as you click here so the file will be downloaded in this format so by this you can download your data from this also so this is all about that how you can find out the open reading frame of a given sequence or a given gene and how to read the data of the open reading frame so that's all for today guys see you in the next video thank you very much